What's up guys? We are in Vegas, Las Vegas, baby. And uh, picking up a truck. Yeah, the red one. I've never driven a red Hirschbach truck before, so I feel pretty cool right now. But anyways, so we're gonna go, we're in Las Vegas, we got this recovery truck, and we're gonna talk about what you should be making as a truck driver in 2023. Stay tuned, baby, stay tuned. All right, we are in Vegas. This is my hotel room at the Flamingo. So there's a TV in the mirror and it was on and I didn't know how to turn it off so I unplugged it from the wall. Um, in here is a shower, so check these out. You see these right here? Water comes out of these and it's like a massage for your belly, dude. That was awesome, bro. Desk, it's my laptop over there. King bed, then that's my suitcase camera. Dude, check out this view, bro. Freaking check out this view, man. Absolutely gorgeous palm trees in here, man. Absolutely stunning view. Dude, I'm, I was exhausted when I got here, so I was like, bro, I'm gonna spend the night out on the strip. I'm gonna get something good to eat. I'm gonna show you the strip in the nighttime with all the lights turned on. I'd never been to Vegas. Uh, I'd never been. So this was pretty cool. I actually gotta come here. I'm gonna go to the buffet at Caesars Palace because I hear that's a really good buffet. Hey, what's up guys? It's Wildbeard and I'm back home here at Hirschbach. If you have any questions about my experience here as a driver and you wanna know something, feel free to message me on my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I'd be more than willing to talk to you. Danny, my recruiter, made my process coming back and so she's been really helpful with that for sure. Yeah, definitely. Wildbeard has my number, y'all. Um, any questions, concerns that you have, reach out to him and he'll get you connected with me. Um, we'd love to see you here at Hirschbach. What's up guys? So. We're here in Las Vegas. Spent the night here, picking up this recovery truck. And we're gonna talk about 2023 pay. What you should be making, man. I'm gonna tell you what you should be making, and I'm gonna tell you what truck drivers are averaging. Um, my opinion, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this out and in the open. I think every truck driver should be making $2,000 a week. If you're out working seven days a week, and you are away from your family, you should be making $2,000 a week. Are truck drivers making that? No, they're not. So we're gonna talk about what truck drivers are making in 2023. But let me hop in this truck and we're gonna go pick up this trailer. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna go through the Rockies today. Beautiful drive, man, absolutely gorgeous. Got my drone with me. Y'all stay with me, because we're gonna be talking about some, about the dinero, baby. Some money, all right. No one that is in my team, I got a lot of shine. Running up the number, that's a lot of crime. Try to take it from me, must be out your mind. I need time, got a shine. Smokey in the air, that's a lot of pine. Pockets running over with the dollar sign. Try to take it from me. It wasn't even closed all the way. That's why you gotta check these trailers, bro. You 100% gotta check these trailers. And, dude, <sighs> ticks me off, bro. Dude, there's nothing marking this. Let's get going, dude. I'm tired of being here, man.
right guys, so you just saw was trying to send up the drone and when I send up my drone I always have it in my hand and when it went up bro it's uh the, I have two motors broke on it which uh it was broke and I changed out the propellers on it and I thought that would fix it but the motors are completely broke on it so no drone footage a little bit upset because this is a beautiful ride absolutely stunning and gorgeous as you guys probably saw from the other footage I put up on here but yeah, just kind of a bummer, man. So, no drone footage for a hot minute, man. It's gonna be a good while before drone footage gets back sent back into the video. Creation is beautiful, dude. It's not by chance, man. There's This was done intentionally, man. There's so many people who have never seen what we get to see doing what we do. And it's a beautiful thing, man. So, don't ever take that for granted. Denver cutting through Kansas to back to Kansas City straight stretch man easy peasy lemon squeezy baby so rise and shine it's money time baby let's get it in Colorado now I'm at the loves east side of Denver Colorado so I stopped here man and we're gonna drive out the rest of the way to KC today the average I looked this up on Google and so we just kind of take it as it is but they're saying that the average pay for truck drivers in 2022 was 57 K I looked up specifically OTR drivers and that includes a lot of rookie salaries too. So starting pay, like starting pay at Swift or starting pay at uh, Knight or, you know, CR England. You got to like consider that, put that into the factor as well. And that's why I say if you are an experienced truck driver with over a year of experience, you should be grossing 2000 there's companies out there that are doing that. Here at Hirschbach, man, here's what we tell drivers. If you come here on the OTR side, you're making anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 a week. That's what they're saying. I'm not OTR. I haven't seen any OTR settlements, but I would, I would guess, you know, that's what they're telling drivers right now. Uh, even in this struggling economy, that's what they're making. So... You know, and y'all know my opinion on it, man. I think every driver needs to be making $2,000 a week, period. You know, I saw an ad for a trucking company and they were like, this is the highest paid mileage pay that you can, that the trucking industry offers 65, 67 cents a mile or something. That's like total all of your bonuses wrapped in there together. And they're like, oh, there's a performance bonus and there's a safety bonus and a fuel mileage bonus and all that together you're getting 65, 67 cents a mile. And all like, dude, here's what I'm saying, man. They can take that anytime they want to take that. They can bring your loads down. They can do, you know, they can get you for going three miles over the speed limit for three or four miles, you know. They're, they can do all kinds of things to ensure that they take that. Smoke and mirrors, man. I don't like... I don't think those are healthy, like these little incentives and little extra little bonus things, man. I want to know what the base pay is. I don't care about your bonuses. I just want to know what I'm going to be making solid. But in all reality, drivers just want other companies to be up front with them. That's all they really want, man. They just want somebody who's just going to be down the line, up front, to the point with you. You want to know, what am I going to be making? What's, you know, if I'm out seven days a week, I accept every load you give me, and I do everything I'm supposed to do. What am I, what am I going to be making? And in my opinion, like I said, in my opinion, you need to be making $2,000 a week. It's Hirschbox pay where it needs to be, in my opinion, for OTR drivers who are gone away from their families for weeks on at a time. 
I don't think it is. And, and I know, like, I'm not saying Hirschbox Pay is bad. I think their CDL school is really good. Like, you've heard, I've said a thousand positive things. But I think their pay needs to be upped. And, and I know we're in a recession economy. I know that times are hard right now. Freight is tight. And that's at every company. That's not Hirschbach. That's not just Swift. That's not, not you know, that's not, you know, Helwig or D. LP King or whatever this dude next to me is or CR whatever man it doesn't matter like dude it's 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 hard times in trucking across the board and I know a raise isn't quite feasible at this point or in my opinion is there are companies out there that I feel like are paying their drivers two thousand dollars a week then to be in the competitive field then that's what it needs to be uh, one thing I love about this loves truck stop is Right across the street is a King Supers. First, I love it, man. There's a Starbucks in there, and they have like a little buffet that you can get like a meal to go on. How's it going? Is it open or? 10 minutes? I can wait 10 minutes. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um. I'll do the, uh, the frappuccino mocha cookie crumble. Can I get a venti in that too? Anything else? That'll be it. Straws or right around the oh. corner on the counter. Thank you. Yeah, we got us a meal, got us a roll. We're on a roll. We got us a roll, got us a box dinner from King Supers. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm hmm. Yeah, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, and fried chicken. Let me tell y'all something. I may not live in Kentucky anymore. But that don't mean I don't love fried chicken. Mmm. That's fresh too. They just brought that out. Mmm. All that to say this, guys. If you're happy at your company, stay at your company. I just want to say that, man. If you're happy where you're at, stay where you're at do i make two thousand dollars a week no but i'm also happy here i get home i see my little boy and that to me is more valuable than any dollar sign you can wave in front of me okay i don't want this video to be like trying to make people discontent about something i want people to be you know aware and i have my opinion about things and I'm allowed to espouse my opinion. I think there's something to be said for loyalty to a company and also the happiness you have at a company too. So if your company is treating you good, you're happy there, things are going well for you, you're paying your bills and everything's good, then stay where you're at. Because every time you switch a company, you just take a big gamble. It's always a risk every time you do that. Y'all know what it is, baby. Stay dangerous out there. Wild beard out.